Science website printed out their installation guide. We're gonna go step by step. Step one, you gotta unplug your O2 sensors. Make sure you find how the wires are run so you can do it again on the installation. This one's right here, goes to the front head. The rear one's a little tricky. I'm gonna just remove this plug. There you go. Eight millimeter socket takes off these clamps or a flathead screwdriver. Save these, we can powder coat them black later. Half inch socket. Woo, that was a lot looser than I thought it should be. Oh yeah, these things are loose. This came off like butter. Probably not good. Nine sixteenths. One more right here. Got some bolts under here we're gonna have to remove. Five sixteenths Allen on this big bolt. Three sixteenths on these two. And these two bolts are the ones that are going. I have to remove my front controls to get to this bolt. Gotta remove this guy right here. I guess I will have to remove my forward controls. I have to disconnect this bar so it's not looped into this exhaust pipe here. Figure it out. Worst case, I'll cut this right here. I was about ready to cut this pipe, but it looks like if I just do something I don't know like this, that saves me all the trouble. So no, you don't have to cut this pipe to get it off. I'm glad I looked at it and thought it over. That would have been dumb. Little gasket. 22 millimeter wrench. Mm. So this bracket is going to go right up in here using the factory bolts. It's got to be a pain in the ass to get to. Always. They can't engineer this shit simply. 30 foot pounds of torque. Torqued. 30 foot pounds. Bottom one, you'll need an Allen key. 90 to 120 inch pounds. I'm going to 110. Good. I'm going to 50 foot pounds. 50. All right, here's the freshly powder coated heat shields. I went with a high temperature black. And just to prove that this was a Vance and Hines, there's where the badge went. I grinded it off because everything was scratched as shit from the previous owner. So now we have a really nice fresh start. Oh, fuck. Getting you a new hose clamp. Ah. And he sees, don't get it on the electrode. I'm not gonna over tighten this, just gonna give it a little torque. Hold my wrench down here, not way at the other end. That's good. Plenty. Oh, we got the gaskets. New gaskets. Come on, you bitch. Once you get the header bolts in, you have to bolt up the exhaust at the bottom here to the mounting plate. It's pretty simple. I just looked up the climber's manual. The head bolts are 98 to 120 inch pounds. Not that strong. You want to tighten these down evenly, you're seating the gaskets. Okay. Tighten up your heat shields. Heat shields are in. The installation is complete. Make sure you tighten down all your nuts and bolts and plug in your O2 sensors. It's a good idea also to take some soap and water and wash on your exhaust pipes so if any grease gets on it, it won't burn up when you start them up. Now it's 11 o'clock tonight. 
I don't want to wake up all my neighbors because I know this exhaust is going to be really loud. So let's do this in the morning. Next time you see this will be now. We're outside. We're going to do a quick test run because it's starting to rain. I don't want to have any problems or get this all wet. But we did the Fuel Pack FP3 Vance and Hines tuner this morning, so the bike should run a lot better. And I flashed it based on these short shots and a high flow air filter. My next video will be up on that. It's all set, ready to go. So let's crank this bike over and see how it sounds. Holy shit, you hear that backfire? So the bike is all set, it's running, it's loud as all hell. Uh, gotta be honest, I love the sound, but I'm not sure my neighbors are gonna love the tone and volume of this. So definitely not gonna be a late night hopper bike, I'll just be you know, riding around daytime. But, hey, Yeah, all right, cool. You can go there all day. I can be cool, watch the van be coming up behind you. Okay, no problem. Literally five minutes with the exhaust and my neighbor already stopped to yell at me because it was too loud, so. Here we go.